Everyone builds cars for a reason. The reason I build cars has always been about creative expression. I wanted to take something that was in my head and put it into the real world. And as I got older, I wanted to use that to help people. About a year ago, I got this SL500 on a trade deal. I didn't know what I was gonna do with it, but it was too good of a deal to pass up. And a couple months later, I found out that my uncle was diagnosed with ALS disease. If you're not familiar with what ALS is, it's a neurodegenerative disease that affects the nerve cells in your brain and spinal cord. Basically removes function to do things that you take for granted every single day. By the time I'd seen my uncle, he had had it for about two or three months and had lost most of his ability to talk and was having a little bit of trouble getting around. And The doctors had told us that it was progressing uh, pretty aggressively. After leaving that visit with my uncle, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with the SL500. It was build it and auction it off to support ALS, but also just to bring awareness to this disease that so many people are struggling with. So I reached out to Tecron and they were all about the idea and we had to get to work. We knew we were on a time crunch and so we wanted to customize and build this thing as fast as possible. We hired out all the other work in the shop so we could focus all of our attention on this car. We even asked for some help from some subscribers and we got to work making this thing low, wide, and loud. We did that by using a BMW wide body kit, a Nissan spoiler, and an Audi front lip to make sure that there was no other SL500 like this on the road ever. We finished that off with a custom livery painted by me that features all the sponsors that helped us get this incredible project done. It was really important to me that my uncle see the car in person before the sale and everything else happened. So we loaded the car up on my trailer behind a motorhome and made the six hour trip to his home in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Pulling up to his house was incredible. He was outside in his driveway with all of his friends and family members that have been walking with him through uh, this whole process. And everybody loved the car. Talking about how good it looked in person and, and it was just a really awesome experience to, to get to be there with them and show them this thing that I had spent so much time uh, in, in effort in building over the past several months. So the first question Uncle Herb asked me when we got there was, where is the purple? And that's because he is a huge LSU fan. And from the onset of this livery, we knew we wanted to incorporate the colors of that team, which is purple and yellow. Well, the yellow was there, but I had pre-cut a purple stripe anticipating that uh, he would ask me where the purple was. So we actually put the final touch on the livery in his driveway, which is a purple stripe directly down the center of the car. And I think it looks awesome. And every time I look at it, I think about him and his family and what they mean to me. The number 37 and the quote on the side of the door represent the foundation we chose to give to, Team Gleason. They helped Uncle Herb out tremendously through this process, as well as his family, and it's an organization that's really close to my heart, so it's one that I wanted to donate to. Team Gleason headquarters is actually in New Orleans, Louisiana. It's only about an hour from my uncle's house. Unfortunately, we hit a huge bump in the road, and apparently the Mercedes shifted about an inch to the left, so the rear tire of the Mercedes contacted the rear tire of the trailer and did what I can only describe as a double blowout. We had a spare tire for the trailer, which was good, but we did not have a spare tire for the Mercedes. So we got to get the car to Team Gleason, but we weren't able to take it off of the trailer. Still, everyone got to see the car. They got to take pictures with it. We got to meet everyone that's on staff at Team Gleason. And then Kearney actually took us inside to show us what they're working on for people living with ALS right now. This is our assistive technology room. My name is Kearney Gay, um, Director of Development um, and Partnerships for, for Team Gleason. We directly impact individuals with ALS. We provide technology, uh, insurance assistance on Medicare, and directly putting that back into people to help them live more productive lives. We need that. That's something we all want to find a cure for this disease. But in the meantime, people need help uh, to live with this disease so they can wait for the time that there is a cure. And that's what Team Gleason does. Um, we're the biggest uh, that I know of that does that specific work. They let me use some of the tech that they're developing for ALS patients. And I think the coolest thing there is the eye tracking technology. Within minutes, I was able to control an iPad, search the internet, type, turn on a TV, turn on lights, adjust the thermostat, all just by moving my eyes. It's truly incredible and it opens up a whole new window of possibilities for ALS patients to live more independently. If you wanna to donate to Team Gleason, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so that you can do that to help fund the research and work that they are doing every single day to help ALS patients. And also, we're gonna auction this car off. Now, 100% of the proceeds from this auction are gonna go directly to 
Team Gleason. So we want to support them as a channel and as a community, as well as just giving individually. The auction is going to go live a month after today. So we will post a link to the auction in this video, as well as all the other Mercedes videos when that auction does go live. Now we're not just auctioning off the car. We're also going to include a bunch of stuff from different sponsors of the build, including a fully stocked Sonic Tools backpack. I don't even think these are out yet, but one will go with the car. We're going to include some knock around sunglasses, several bottles of Tecron Complete Fuel System Cleaner, as well as that Okai electric scooter that we advertised just a few videos ago. So you're gonna take this car to the track or to some shows, you're gonna be fully set up. Huge thank you to all the sponsors that made this build possible, to Tecron, to Knock Around, Chemical Guys, Sonic Tools, and Continental. We would not have been able to do it without you guys. And another massive thank you to all the guys that came and helped build this thing early on. Justin, James from Carnivores, and Dan from Southern Import Collective. That made such a huge difference and it's always an awesome time when we get to build with subscribers. Finally, huge thank you to Team Gleason for everything you've done for my family, but also for all the other families that are dealing with this horrible disease. You guys are making it so much easier on people who are struggling with ALS. Whether you're a subscriber or this is the first built video you've ever seen, you are making this possible. I literally would not be able to build these cars and give them away and donate to these awesome charities. Thank you so much for watching the videos. You're making this a possibility and we wouldn't be able to do it without you. We'll see you in the next one.